Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial. This is pretty much going to be a sort of a larger, more in-depth series on how to recreate these Adopt Me UIs in-game. And I'm going to be teaching you guys this because these UIs could be considered timeless, I guess, right? These UIs, as you see, they never grow old. They've had the same UI since 2017, I think. It's been three years, and that's pretty impressive considering how frequent, like... Games do end up like revamping themselves completely. Alright, so uh, let's spawn in the game and let's see what we want to make. So, for this part, what I'm going to teach you guys is how to make, I guess, we could do something like the shop UI at first. I'm going to teach you guys how to make this button as well. Okay, so for this, uh, let's just first go ahead and take our reference pictures, right? So we can call this dot me one, and then let's open up the frame. Go ahead and do dot me two, and then yeah. So let's go ahead and open our canvas up. And like I told you guys, uh, this is the canvas we're working on. I'm not sure about the exact dimensions. You guys might just want to pause there and copy what I have. Uh, let's go ahead and place our place our references over here on the side, somewhere nice where we can see it real quick, and then. Um, over here as well. Got me too. Alright then. So what we're first going to start off with is this button. Let's get this out of the way so we're able to progress onto the frame, which is the harder bar. Harder one out of the two. So if you guys check this out, it has like a really paperish sort of feel. And we're just going to go ahead and proceed normally with a normal shape of sorts alright this should be their normal shape and let's go ahead and take the color from here perfect and then now uh, they do have this drop shadow of sorts right so what they did it seems like is they just implemented an L on here which is a really common shading method and essentially what that does is it's like really like it gives it it gives an actually really good look especially for something these guys want they don't want anything too realistic uh, on their GUIs and just to get that out of the way let's go ahead color overlay this Alright, there we go. So we have that nice little shadow right here. And next what we're going to do is we're just going to recreate this little um, shopping cart they have. So let's just do that right now. Something I'm going to tell you guys right now, and this might seem a little bit self-obvious, but um, I do recommend using your own custom vectors when you uh, make your... GUIs because like okay first they will take a lot more time to actually make and There's not really anyone that's gonna like notice but like when you're a GUI designer You should be able to you know tell exactly what you want how you want it And if you just don't have that good look and it could probably it probably could be um, Because that you guys are probably using some like uh, Stock image vectors or something which isn't bad at all. I mean if your UI Compliments it a lot go for it. I, I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm saying I've seen a lot of these UI designers just like Shove in any any exact vector just to take a shortcut. I guess right That's not something we want to do especially if we're gonna go into detail like this All right, let's go ahead and merge these two uh, shapes right here. Oops, let's actually just rasterize these and then merge them. Then let's just duplicate the wheel. Bam. Uh, next, let's go ahead and create this little shape right here. The thing I really like about these Adopt Me GUIs is how like creative they were. Right, like before this, we really didn't see any like amazing GUIs like this, right? 
but they were able to like get something really like cartoony and like speaking from a design perspective they really did do a great job on this all right uh let's go ahead and copy this color all right now let's just go ahead and quickly Here we have the cart, and we do have some weird little curve right here to fix that. I'll just do this. Yeah, that looks fun enough. And uh, before we move on to giving it this little edge, which can be done in a couple of ways, um, we can go ahead and create this little part right here. And to do this, very straightforward. You just grab your pen tool. Select this color over here. And for the text, we will do shot and I use infra a lot and I'm not very sure exactly what this is so we'll just use infra again this is like a really nice font I'd recommend you guys getting it and essentially what I believe they did was they just added a stroke uh, they just got the same color over here, and they lowered it down. Perfect. So now uh, we're going to move on to getting this little edge down. And there is a couple of ways they could have done this. So to start, uh, hold on. And they do have a little cut in here, so. And let's go back and fix up some of the spots where we kind of messed up on. Alright, there we go. I just changed up where this little indentation was over here just for the sake of it. It doesn't really, it's uh, not really that big of an issue. You guys can just put it wherever you guys would like. Alright, so our button should be done. And now what they have here is they do in fact have this um, drop shadow. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I can. So let's go ahead and put this um, drop shadow in here. Oops, wrong thing. So I got merge this crop shadow. Let's go 90 degrees distance. All right, this should be good. And we merge these. Oops, nope, we just rasterize this. And pretty much over here, what we've just created is a adopt me button.